Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a short video for you, but one that I just wanted to put out there to share some food for thought. And this is also going to be a request video. So if any of you out there have any images, photographs are what I'm looking for, of Tech Castle before the year 1900, I would love to see those. But in today's video, we're going to discuss the Tech Castle. Now, right off the bat, when I looked up the German pronunciation for Tech Castle, it pronounces it more like Tick. That's interesting when we look at the narrative and how it relates to the rest of the world. Now, this name, Tech, you might ask, why does that sound familiar? Well, according to this handy-dandy current narrative, the Tech family name has ties back to ancient Württemberg. However, the title of Prince of Tech was not officially created or recreated until the year 1863. Now, 1863, that was quite a time to be alive. Countless miraculous achievements worldwide associated with in-depth revolutions, including the industrial, where we wiped out basically many of the old brick and stone superstructures. We wiped out the wireless street lamps or the lamps that were lit by fire. We wiped out the previous modes of travel. We wiped out the paved streets and we replaced them with more modern creations, which since that time have themselves been replaced multiple times. Again, for hundreds, if not thousands of years, it seems that history and the largest cities in history were building and their architecture was all very similar. And it didn't really necessarily advance in the sense of what we think of advancement to be today. Yes, the buildings got more intricate and they got larger, but they were still constructed in the same way. And yet, when the industrial revolution arrives, when photography arrives to be able to showcase all of these old world buildings, that's when we have these massive, large scale changes coming to society. That's when the industrial revolution changes many of the old world buildings into new buildings, into new streets, into streets with electricity, with street lights, with steel buildings, whereas these stone and brick buildings could have truly lasted forever. Buildings made out of steel, they really have a lifespan. There's only a certain amount of time that they can last. And you always wonder, at least I do, why this happened and how much of a quote unquote coincidence it could really be that all of these changes occurred around the exact same time period all around the world in the mid 1800s. Is this plausible deniability for an inherited society? Because that's surely what it sounds like. Now, when we look at the tech family who derived their name from this castle, the most famous tech would have been Mary of Tech, queen consort to King George V. Now, Mary would later become Empress of India. We're told that Mary of Tech when she turned 18, she was dolled up and she was introduced and she was paraded around the royal courts of Britain. And she had a very successful, what this narrative calls a quote, first season. Now, when I looked into that, a season being the spring and summer months where the social elite of Britain engage in socializing events in the purpose of marriage and growing the support from their crown. In short, she was basically sold to the highest bidder. And at that time, the highest bidder was the future King of England himself, her cousin, Prince George. The title of the Duke of Tech was reintroduced by the British royalty in the 1800s. And yet from much earlier, from 1100 roughly until the 1400s, this land of tech was very well known. It was well known for one reason, they state, and that's because of Tech Castle, also known as Berg Tech. Is it man-made? Is it naturally occurring? Is it left over from a biblical type reset? And what parts of this, if any, are new construction? We often hear, especially on other channels that are similar to mine, claims of a cataclysmic event which reshaped world politics and architecture. The timeline for this event or series of events, depending on how you look at it, as well as the actual cause and effect of the event is what we often debate. A mainstay of many people's arguments, according to my contemporaries, is the idea of brick and other building materials, even stone, being so damaged, so corrupted by this said cataclysmic event that the buildings essentially appear melted, for lack of a better term. 
the rock, the stone, the brick, according to this theory, were heated so much, so rapidly, that it physically caused the properties of the rock and the brick to change. What type of event would do this? A solar flare? A calculated attack? Supersonic advanced technology? Harnessing the sun or concentrating the sun? Most likely a hundred times over? We've seen weapons like this depicted in ancient times. An alchemical process or an act of God himself. All of these arguments will become more clear in my next video discussing the Punic or the Canaanite religion and how it relates to this apocalyptic event and the rebirth of man as told in the Christian Bible and the Old Testament. The Flood, the Deluge, could this actually be the event which we see evidence of in the earliest photographs worldwide in the 1850s? The arguments for and against this are endless, but one thing is for sure, if we want to believe that a cataclysmic event really did occur, then one of the first places we should look is these ancient castles, including Tech Castle. First, Tech Castle was, in its time, gigantic, truly massive, sprawling, and attaching, it says, to other nearby castles. Yet, by the year 1525, this castle, which was run by the first house of Tech, a cadet branch of the house of Zaringen was completely destroyed. What we see today on top of this mountain range is said to have been built in the 1800s and the early 1900s. The modern creation sits on top of the mountain range that's known as Techburg. Now, Techburg literally means castle or fortification of Tech, the land of Tech, along the same lines of the name Berg Tech which is used today. What's strange is Tech Castle, the Duke of Tech, they are said to derive these names from the mountain range, which itself was named for the earlier castle that was destroyed in 1525. Meaning, Tech Castle, named Tech already, must predate the founding or the written history of the mountain range itself. It's fascinating. As I stated in numerous other videos, as we look in the oldest castle histories around the world and the families who supposedly founded them, we often see that the castle predates the family, meaning many castles don't have a true history in regards to their discovery and their construction. Many famous families, especially in the Holy Roman Empire, including Hohenzollern, who ruled the empire for centuries, actually have their family histories begin with the finding of a mysterious castle and then the family actually derives their name from the name of the castle and not the other way around. Picture, if there really was a cataclysmic event, if it truly happened recently, more recent than the history in the books alludes to, and this event either wiped out a giant species, caused massive weather destruction, raised sea levels, shifted the poles, or destroyed the last great first men unified culture, sometimes called Tartary, then wouldn't it make sense that those who survived this event would gradually make their way out of their bunkers, or for lack of a better term, their underground habitation, and thus they discover the leftover remains, the ruins of the millennial reign of God, or what some would call the pre-reset old world of the first men. Thus, we have convoluted theories and histories where countless times the egg, meaning the castle, appears before the chicken, or humans, the so-called creators. Furthermore, if families like Hohenzollern and Tech derive their family name from the castle, this would imply, even in a minuscule sense, that these castles had some sort of known history, possibly written history, when they were rediscovered by those who later were deemed the noble families that controlled the castles. This nobility or knowledge or gnosis of it really just being that these families were the first to make a claim when they found these ruins. Now, as we look through the histories of some of these mysterious castles, the most mysterious appear to have foundations that jut out of the earth as if they were interconnected. Most times, the current narrative explains this away that 
Years of buildup and runoff and rain and decay and exposure to the elements essentially made the land pile up and settle in this way. When that explanation doesn't work though, as in the case of Tet Castle, which is high on a mountain cliff, we're told that natural rock formations of the mountain in their natural shapes were used to create the form of this castle. Essentially, we're told they cut into the mountain, they laid foundations, and then they were able to cover those foundations to make it look like the castle arises out of the rock. Yes, we're told apparently, roughly, a thousand years ago or more, we had this ability. I have yet to see anyone properly explain to me how this was done. Looking directly at the Tet Castle, the mountain is literally perfectly rounded in certain parts, creating what would be the base of these towers. And in all aspects, you can see that the mountain becomes the tower, but you can't necessarily see the crease or the mark where the construction, the man-made construction begins and the mountain ends. It's as if something or someone went in after the fact like a painting and blended the man-made rock on top with the mountain below. The castle appears to be literally growing from the rock. And besides this different colorization, which we can notice, it's hard to tell where the castle ends and this quote, natural rock formation begins. Could the natural rock formation really just be the petrified remains of the earlier, previous castle that was quote destroyed in 1525 and lost to time again we don't have many photographs of tech castle and i could find none before the year 1900 i sure as tech couldn't find any older artistic depictions of the castle ruins before they were rebuilt which is odd again because this is one of or supposed to be one of the most famous castles in germany and from the 1800s onward, it was the seat for the family who would become queen consort of Britain. So to say essentially that the history is as simple as, quote, someone built a castle here nearly a thousand years ago and it was destroyed and the ruins remained on this ridge. And before they were meticulously rebuilt, they used the same exact shape of the mountain as a guide, end quote. That's really impossible to believe. And then you see that the tech family who at the time were said to be living in poverty and yet they owned this massive castle and they somehow maneuvered their way into becoming British royalty. Now, that could be the understatement of the year if we really believe that a family who had nothing somehow was able to climb a mountain, was able to construct a massive castle, was able to remain in this castle for hundreds of years only to essentially have the history be erased and rewritten before the government of Britain would finally re-recognize your land, re-recognize the Tech family, and again, make them dukes. It's quite fascinating to say the least. It's as if the history itself, the people themselves, remained hidden, remained underground, remained out of sight re-emerging and when they re-emerged they were almost instantaneously rewritten and accepted into the current royalty of britain it's actually quite astounding and to think that we have a castle where we're told that there's foundations here that are almost a thousand years old and then we're told that the castle that we see is really less than 200 years old and then we're told at some point in between this earliest castle and what we see today there was formations and there was destruction and there was the smoothing over and the creation of really these patterns that are untraceable where we look at the mountain really flowing directly into man-made castle. Now, is that possible for that time period? I bet it is and I bet there's someone out there that can explain it to me. But my question is, why would they not have more information on this? If this castle was so important, if this family, you know, in the 1100s, the 1200s was so important, and then they fell out of the good graces of the Holy Roman Empire and they lost all their money, etc., they still had this castle. This castle was still known of. These foundations, since the foundations are still being used today, the foundations were definitely in place 
500 years ago because that's what this castle is based on. So according to that narrative, one would imagine there would be a written history and there would be artistic depictions and there would be a better understanding of how this was built. But apparently there is not. Apparently this history of the Tech Castle really goes dormant until the 1860s and the 1870s, which is convenient because it fits in with the other revolutions that we see going on with the introduction to electricity, the introduction to photography, and the introduction to all of this old world architecture that suddenly needed to be reshaped and rewritten and all these changes would occur over the next few decades and that's where we get to the reign of really queen elizabeth but this royalty it all seems to have stemmed from and arisen from this earlier feudal system and these earlier castles that they themselves appear to predate written history to conclude if you have any photographs of tech castle besides what i shared today especially ancient artistic depictions or photographs pre-1900 please share them in the comment section down below i felt like sharing this video with you today because again this seemed to grind against the current narrative gears in such a way that it's hard to ignore what appear ancient and petrified and man-made is actually said to be naturally occurring and yet at the same time what's naturally occurring and nearly half a mile in the sky this mountain was accessed and built upon and built inside of nearly 1,000 years ago with the precision of such that the foundations from a thousand years ago are apparently still in use today do you see how Either way we look at it, this history is a double-edged sword, meaning no matter how you slice it, it doesn't make much difference. There's still going to be anomalies abound. But what do you think? Let me know all your thoughts and your comments down below. And what do you believe about the history of Tech Castle? How old do you think that it really is? And is Tech a family that survived from the old world? Or is this family just a family of inheritors? With the death of the queen recently, you can look at some of these photographs of Mary of Tech and you can see the real similarities in the look of the queen and Mary of Tech. They look very similar. You can tell they're part of the same family. And yet the family of Tech, they had to change their name basically to Cambridge after the World War I Germany fallout that occurred. Basically, Germany was shunned by greater parts of the world, including Great Britain. And in return, many of the royal families of Great Britain and the royal houses that had ties to Germany, that had history to Germany, they had to remove all references to Germany from their names. And thus, Mary of Tech and her later ancestors would be known as people of Cambridge in their title. And I also found that very interesting because when you think about Cambridge, have you ever thought about tech before? Because really it all stems back at least partially to these ties with the ancient tech family of Germany. So this is really interesting and Hopefully you guys can provide some more information and some photographs for me and we can discuss this whole narrative in the comment section down below. I wanted to say thank you again for being here. We hit 42,000 subscribers recently and that means the world to me. If you'd like to reach out to me directly, you can do so at this link right here. Again, I thank you all for being here. I look forward to hearing your comments down below about the family or the castle of tech and about the possible reset that we've experienced in the past few hundred years. I'd love to hear any relevant information, and if you have any photographs, please share them down below. Thank you for 42,000 subscribers, and I look forward to talking with you on the next video. I will see you there. Cheers.